वेलकम इन दिस लेक्चर वी वुड टॉक अबाउट मेट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन इन द लास्ट टॉपिक्स वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट वाई डू वी एक्चुअली स्टडी द मेट्रिक एंड द एडिशन एंड द सप्रैक्शन नाउ एज वी टॉक्ड अबाउट इन द लास्ट क्लास वी स्टडी मेट्रिक टू अंडरस्टैंड द लीनियर इक्वेशन और टू रिप्रेजेंट एंड सॉल्व द लीनियर इक्वेशन ओनली सो दैट्स वन ऑफ द फोर मोस्ट थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ मल्टीप्लीकेशन वेन एवर वी से वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन इन टू वेज मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ अ मेट्रिक विद अ नंबर or multiplication of two matrices the first case where we say multiplication of a matrix with number this is pretty simple so simply what you do is you have the numbers and you multiply so 4 would be multiply with each multiplied with each of the element of the matrices so you have 4 into 2 4 into 3 4 into 5 and 4 into 4 so this was very very simple way of understanding a scalar multiplication The next is the matrix multiplication where there are two matrices. So here, first of all, as we talked about in the class on addition and subtraction, the matrices must be conformal. So in that, we meant conformal by equal number of rows and columns. So if it is a two by two matrix, the other matrix should also be two by two. If it is a one by two matrix, the other matrix should also be one by two. However, in case of multi, that was true for addition and subtraction. However, in case of multiplication. what is important is the column of the first matrix should be equal to the rows of the second matrix so that's what should be equal and once you are conformal with this you can have the matrix multiplication that could be done a very simple example to state would be 2 3 4 and 8 so it is a 2 by 2 matrix now i create a 2 by 3 matrix so it is 2 4 8 1 Four and five. So these two matrices are there. Now always we write rows into column as we already saw in the previous class. So here the number of the columns of the first and the number of the rows of the first, if they are equal, we can follow up with a matrix multiplication. So what would be the resultant matrix? Would be the resultant rows and columns. So that's the remaining rows and columns. That is two by three. That means the answer of this matrix would be a 2 by 3 matrix that would come and that's how we understand matrix multiplication now here in this case this is a 2 by 2 matrix multiplied by 2 by 2 matrix so definitely the answer would be a 2 by 2 so how do we proceed you have four elements that would come therefore it's a 2 by 2 now what would be the first one you have the first row multiplied by the first column so it's 2 into 1 plus 5 into 4 then this one multiplied by the second column would be the value here so 2 into 8 plus 5 into 6 for the second case what would be the values it would be 3 into 1 plus 4 into 4 and 3 into 8 plus 4 into 6 so you multiply this row with this column then you multiply the same row with the other column Then for the next, you have this row multiplied by this column, and this row multiplied by this column, and that's how you have the values here, and that's a very simple way of mat matrix multiplication. The next example that we take is a two by two matrix multiplied by two by one matrix. So what would be the resultant? Since you have two and two common, so it's conformal for mat um, for multiplication. Now what would be the resultant matrix? It would be two by one matrix. Now, how do you solve it? So you would have two into four plus one into three, okay? And for the second case, what it would be? It would be six into four plus seven into three, and this would be a two by one matrix. That would be the resultant answer, and it's very simple to understand. So once you know that, you have the simple process that you move forward with. The next is what would be the multiplication of a three by one matrix with a one by two matrix. So it's one and one common. So the resultant would be three by two, obviously. Now what would be the answer here? So answer here would be two into five, seven into five, and eight into five. Then you would have two into three, seven into three, and eight into three. And with this you have the 
resultant matrix and this matrix as you can see is a 3 by 2 matrix so multiplication of matrices is a very very important aspect now whenever we multiply a matrix with an identity matrix what would be the answer so when you multiply 1 a with 1 it remains a and that's what happens in a identity matrix but let's say you have a number 2 3 4 and 5 you multiply it by this now what would be the resultant it would be 2 into 1 plus 3 into 0 okay and then the second case would be 2 into 0 plus 3 into 1 okay the next case would be 4 into 1 plus 5 into 0 and 4 into 0 plus 5 into 1 so what would be the answer it would remain as 2 4 3 and 5 so the values would remain same when you are multiplying it with an identity matrix and what is an identity matrix we have already talked about in the previous lecture in the upcoming lectures we would be talking about inverse and determinants and many more lectures on mathematical economics and econometrics so stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead